With the recent release of Google's Game of the Year award winner Pokemon Unite, 2022 is looking like a good year for the mobile mobile game genre. And there are even more good MOBAs coming out this year, some of which you probably haven't even heard of. The first and best MOBA of 2022 is Pokemon Unite. In the last three months, Pokemon Unite has gotten over 50 million downloads and won Google's Best Mobile Game Award. And it got third on Google's Best Competitive Games, which is, in my opinion, an even better award. The reason Pokemon Unite is so fantastic is because the developers kept their focus on what was most important. The game keeps the classic competitive feel of League of Legends, but translates everything into the world of Pokemon. This gives the genre a refreshing twist, but they are able to capitalize on the deep lore that Pokemon has developed over the last 26 years. The game has great graphics, good updates, and the devs have done a professional job of fixing bugs quickly. This is what brought the game to the top of the list, and I think it will stay at the top for most of this year. The second game on the list is Catalyst Black. Formerly known as Project Spellfire, this game is the newest big move by Super Evil Megacorp, who's famous for creating the game Vainglory. Vainglory was slash is a very successful mobile on the phone with tens of millions of downloads. I hesitate because after Rogue Games pulled their support for the game last March, the game's servers are overrun and the game is sometimes unplayable. Nevertheless, Catalyst Black is their new and exciting endeavor and it holds a ton of potential. They are calling the game a team-based 10v10 drop in drop out large scale shooter and what that really means is that it is a MOBA map with your typical monsters and PvP choke points but the scaling is set up so that you are not as disadvantaged when entering a game in the middle of it also the devs claim that this new structure allows for twice the amount of action even though the matches are just half the normal length this really caught my attention because that is exactly the kind of thing competitive mobile gamers like these devs have already been forerunners for the mobile gaming industry with their first game so I am predicting they're about to do it again. The third game is Auto Chess MOBA. For those of you who are familiar with gaming history, this is hilarious because just three years ago, the Auto Chess genre was created as a game mode within the MOBA game Dota 2. This spawned a trend in which all the big MOBA games started creating their own standalone games in the Auto Chess genre. Well, now it's coming back full circle with the original Auto Chess publisher now creating a mobile MOBA game. Are they trying to start yet another trend? Trend? I guess time will tell. Regardless, Auto Chess MOBA looks like it is going to be amazing with the devs formally committing to zero pay to win aspects of the game. They even announced that all of the champions will start off unlocked for everyone from the beginning. This is unprecedented for the MOBA genre, so I'm really excited to see how it plays out. The fourth game on the list is Vainglory All Stars, which is basically a more serious version of Supercell's Brawl Stars. Even though it is made by a different developer, Bazooka Tango did work with the developer developers of Vainglory to use the same game engine and all the characters in the game are from the original Vainglory. Unfortunately, right now the game has horrible reviews because the original Vainglory was essentially discontinued and this new game does not play similarly. Simply put, this game is not a good alternative for the original because it's not as competitive and doesn't utilize as much team strategy. That being said, if this is the type of game you are going for, it is very well done and more competitive and skill based than its other inspiration, Brawl Stars. So if this is the type of game you are going for, don't be scared off by the bad reviews. The fifth game on the list is Rocket League Sideswipe. Honestly, I am surprised we didn't see this game a long time ago. In the last seven years since Psyonix made the original Rocket League for the PC, there have been half a dozen cheap mobile versions of the game, but none of them have come close to capturing the beauty of Rocket League. Now, generally when people think of Rocket League, they think of more of a sports game over a MOBA, and this game will definitely be much higher on my top 10 list for that genre. But since it is technically a MOBA, and I think it will get a lot of hype this year, I thought it was worth mentioning. If you want to know more details about this game, make sure to watch that video. But in short, Psyonix hired a AAA mobile game dev team to do a great job of creating a mobile version of their game. The sixth game is Boom Beach Frontlines. Created by a Supercell subsidiary, Boom Beach Frontlines is a 9v9 team shooter with a focus on troops, vehicles, team 
gameplay and tactics. I am personally adverse to games associated with Supercell because I think they started some of the negative trends with mobile gaming, but I recognize they are very good at keeping it simple where it counts. This game seems similar, boasting an integration of teamwork, tactics, and strategies supported by regular updates, tons of units, constant map rotations, and gameplay that rewards teamwork. They of course also add elements of pain to win as you build your base, but their games usually have a good enough matchmaking system to keep it fun even if you have no chance of reaching the top of the leaderboards. The seventh game on the list is King of Hunters. NetEase has been working on this game for four years, and it is still in closed beta, but it looks like it will finally come out this year. The first thing that is special about this game is that it combines MOBA with Battle Royale, which surprisingly works really well together. The time frame of the two game types are similar, and the aspect of leveling up really helps prevent someone from winning that spent the whole game hiding. The second and more unique aspect of this game is that it has two story buildings, which is unorthodox for mobile games. And then you can jump off of those second stories, which is pretty freaking amazing. Lastly, the third unique aspect of this game is they added a game type where you can fight mounted. Personally, I like the normal approach to MOBA better, but it's still a fun twist. The eighth game is Riot's game Wild Rift. This game was my number one prediction last year on my top 10 list over all genres, and it did fantastic, getting the most competitive game award from Google Play, which is in my opinion the highest honor a mobile game can get. The game is amazing. The developers did a great job of capturing everything that is good about League of Legends, but transferring and balancing it to work on a mobile platform. I don't think Wild Rift is going to get a ton of hype in 2022, but there just aren't enough mobile games coming out this year, so this game found a place on the list again. The ninth game on the list is Brawl Stars. This is another classic that would not normally make it to the list if it weren't for the scarcity of 2022 MOBAs. But the game still has quite a bit of residual hype. A large part of this is because the developers diverted from their usual aggressive monetization schemes and gave room for free-to-play players to eventually catch up to those who bought the champions from the beginning. It still has quite a few pay-to-win elements, especially if you're just starting off, but their efforts to minimize the gap has kept a loyal player base. The last game is Mobile Legends. Speaking of a loyal player base, Mobile Legends might have the most loyal player base out of any MOBA in the world. I have never once been able to even mention MOBA in a video without someone commenting about Mobile Legends. The fans know that the game was originally a copy of League of Legends, but even now that Wild Rift is out, they argue that Mobile Legends has surpassed its predecessor in capturing the true mobile MOBA experience. Even players that assumed Wild Rift would be better because of their old League of Legends days have found themselves coming back to Mobile Legends because it was a better fit. And if I've learned anything about gaming over the years, it is that if the devs have a loyal player base that is happy, all they have to do is not screw it up. Okay, so those are the top 10 mobile MOBAs for 2022, but I do have three more honorable mentions for you. The first one is Butter Royale. This game is another combination of MOBA and Battle Royale, but it is done in the setting of a food fight. A map holds up to 32 players and the games are only five minutes long as people shoot sauce and throw bread at each other until everyone is eliminated. It is a fantastic game and the number one Battle Royale game on arcade, but that is also why it did not make it to the list. The game is exclusively on iOS, which obviously limits how many people can play the game. The second honorable mention is Modern Warships. I was first introduced to this game last year when they sponsored me to make a tutorial for their game. What seemed like a simple simulation turned out to be an incredibly complex game. If you watch the video I made, you will see that I grew a deep appreciation for the extreme detail they put into making the game's realism. I was also impressed by the underlying team tactics threshold, which allows a good team to beat ships much stronger than them. Honestly, the game is amazing for its type, and it is technically a MOBA, but I did not put it on this list because it is not typical of what people think when they are looking for a MOBA. That being said, if this style of game is attractive to you, I definitely recommend it. The third honorable mention is Survival Heroes. If you have been following this channel for a while, this game will either make you roll your eyes or bring back sweet memories. I will probably mention this game every time I talk about mobile mobile games because when it first came out, it opened my eyes to the potential of mobile gaming. And a big reason I started arguing that mobile games would take over the gaming industry while most of the other gamers ridiculed it. I experienced quite a lot of satisfaction seeing that most of those gamers that used to ridicule it are now playing mobile games. Sadly, even though this game is amazing, the devs put almost all of their focus on their Chinese version, which can sometimes make the players feel like they are left to their own when things go wrong. Well, that's it guys. Hope that helps. If a game is not on here that you think should be on 
on here, it is probably because I put it on a different genre, like perhaps an RPG or something else. Some of those videos are already out and the rest will be out very soon. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.